Hi, yeah. welcome to Tangent, a video tutorial on C sharp. But before starting anything on C sharp, it is better to take a look on the fundamental aspects of programming. It will help those beginners who have no experience on programming. In this computer age, everyone heard the term computer programming. Actually, computers have no intelligence. Through a program, we instruct computer what to do. Computer languages are used for this instruction purpose. Lines of code or statements are the commands that are grouped together to perform one or more specific tasks. You can save a program in computer memory and use again in future. A program is a sequence of instructions that specifies how to perform a computation. Computation might be something mathematical like solving a system of equation or finding the roots of a polynomial. But it can also be a symbolic computation like searching and replacing text in a document or compiling a program. The instruction or commands or statements look different in different programming languages. But there is little basic functions that appears in just about every language. Input, get data from keyboard or a file or some other device. Output, display data on the screen or send data to file or other device. Math, perform basic mathematical operations like addition or multiplication. Testing, check certain condition and execute the appropriate sequence of statements. Repetition perform some actions repeatedly, usually with some variation. No matter how complicated, every program is made up of functions similar like this. So programming is breaking up of large complex tasks into smaller and smaller subtasks until now the subtasks are simple enough to be performed with one of these simple functions. Various type of computer programmers or software available. These are operating system, drivers and utilities, graphics application, business application, web applications. Machine language, it is the language what computers can recognize, but for humans they are very difficult to understand. Programming languages we are using are understandable form of machine level language. We need some mechanism which converts the code you written into machine level. According to this conversion mechanism, languages are mainly of three types interpreted, compiled and just in time compiled. The code interpreted line by line when you are running the application. That's why they are slower to run. Basic language is an interpreted language. Most of today's scripting languages are interpreted. But they are flexible to use and can be usable for specific smaller tasks where the performance is not an issue. In case of compiled language, they are pre-compiled at the time of development into executables which are machine level language they are faster to execute c c++ is an example of this type of languages just in time compiled these are very modern languages in case of compiled language you need to compile the code every time in specific environment but just in time compilation is giving the programmer a more robust system when you are developing and building the code they are compiled into an intermediate language instead of machine level language then when user are running the application, the runtime compiler is compiling intermediate language to machine level language. That's the environment specific compilation are not headache of programmers anymore. The part is done by just in time compiler or runtime compiler. These languages are flexible and very productive for today's programming world. Java and C are members of this group. The .NET framework is new computing platform made by Microsoft that simplifies application development. Two main components of .NET are common language runtime or CLR and class library. c is just-in-time compiled language. When we are building one application, it is compiled into MSIL or Microsoft Intermediate Language. Common language runtime do just-in-time compilation to convert MSIL to native or machine language. You can write an application or component once and then deploy the application to other environments in which a compiled .NET platform is available. Just-in-time compilers are also known as jitters. Compile assembly into native binary that targets a specific platform. Not only c -Sharp, CLR is doing the same thing for the other .NET languages as well, like VB.NET or C++.NET. Because of MSIL, you can use any .NET language for component development and you can use it with other different .NET language. Thus .NET is giving us flexibility to use any language for development purpose. .NET framework has an automatic garbage collector, which saves our application from memory leak. 
That's for why programming with .NET is also known as safe programming or managed programming. Rich .NET class library giving us readily available solution for various programming needs. It is fully object oriented. It provides the class structure function interfaces for Windows programming, generic collection, XML, ADO .NET, GDI plus and many more. C -Sharp is a simple, modern, object oriented and types of programming language. It gives us the powerful object oriented programming feature of C++ language with rapid production support compared to Visual Basic. Some of language features are also same like Java. So when you are learning C -Sharp, actually you are covering all good features of best programming language. You can code in C -Sharp with any code editor and can compile it with free command line compiler with .NET SDK that is software development kit. But Visual Studio is the best professional ID or integrated development environment for C Sharp programming. You also can use Visual Studio C Sharp Express Edition. It is free for student, hobbyist and individual developer. In the last 50 years of software development, there have been more than 1000 programming languages created. When computers were first invented, programming was done by toggling in the binary machine instruction using the computer's front panel. Those programming were just few lines of instructions. In the mid-1950s, the first operating system was created. Since 1950, other programming languages were developed like Assembler, COBOL, Fortran, and Pascal. Fortran was created uh, for scientific analysis, COBOL for business application, RPG for report generation. As programs continued to grow, high-level languages were developed to give programmers more tools with which to handle complexity. The first widespread language was of course Fortran. In the 1960s gave birth to structured programming language to handle complex programs. This is a method of programming supported by languages such as C. The journey from Algol to COBOL began with CPL. Martin Richards introduced basic CPL or BCPL in 1967. Ken Thompson of Bell Labs drafted B in 1970 as the successor of BCPL. C was developed by Dennis Ritchie, also of Bell Labs, in 1972. Combined aspects of C and Simula, Beyond to introduce C with classes in 1979. Under stewardship, C was created as a direct descendant of C with classes and was publicly recognized in 1983. The trouble was that C did not support object-oriented programming. The desire for an object-oriented version of C ultimately led to creation of C++. C -SAR was premiered at the Professional Developer Conference or PDC held in Orlando, Florida in 2000. The premier architect of C -SAR were Andres Hegelsbach, Scott Wiltamuth, Peter Solici, Eric Gunnarsson and Peter Gold.